One of the dumbest conspiracy theories, the flat earth conspiracy theory. Man, that one's great. Well, that's insane. Full grown adults think that the world is flat. What an indictment on our education system. That should be like the final question you get asked before they hand you your high school diploma. Right, just like, hey, do you think the world's flat? Yeah, well, back to grade eight then, because... <laughs> we can't have you walking around out there. That's... And what's funny too, man, is, is the, the flat earth conspiracy theory, here's why it's so bad. It's because it misses the key part of a good conspiracy theory. Good conspiracy theories have a reason why the government is lying to you. That's the, the main part of them. They're lying to you to get away with something. There's no reason to lie to you about the world being round, right? If NASA came out tomorrow and was like, by the way, guys, we were fucking with you. The world's actually flat. You'd be like, okay, what changes? I still have to go to work, right? Like, yes, of course you have to go to work. No, nothing changes. We just said it was round, got in too deep, and you know, here we are. Of course it's flat, look at it. <laughs> you know, because a good conspiracy theory, it's got a reason the government's lying to you, so if somebody's like, hey, I think 9-11 was an inside job, you go, okay, well, why do you think that? And they go, well, I think the US used it as an excuse to invade Iraq. And you're like, well, that's stupid, but at least there's some meat on the bones there. All right, you got something. We can talk about that. <laughs> right, so it's like, ah, the world's flat. And you go, well, why do you think that? Because fuck you, it's flat, that's why. Because <laughs> they want you to buy globes because they're more expensive. Maps are cheaper. It's big globe, man. <laughs> I also love when the conspiracy theory takes on end of the world predictions, when people start predicting the end of the world, that's my favorite thing to do, when people are like, yeah, the world's gonna end on this date, because you just, you're setting yourself up. You predict an exact date, the date comes and goes, right? <laughs> and then you're just like, ooh, I guess, ooh, I was wrong. <laughs> and that's it, you just move on. We've had some famous ones. The, one of the most famous ones was the Mayans. People thought the Mayans predicted the end of the world in 2012, right, that was, that was going around for a while. People thought the Mayans predicted the end of the world in 2012. I had a friend who believed it, and a lot, and it was really hard, because they brought it up. No, man, the world's gonna end 2012. Getting all these arguments with them. They're like, no, man, the world is gonna end. The Mayans predicted it in 2012, December 2012, the world is gonna end. January 2013 rolls along. We're sitting in a pub having a pint, and I'm like, are we just not gonna fucking talk about it? That almost ruined our friendship like 15 times. And what a bad theory. Oh, the Mayans, I'm listening to the Mayans now. The Mayans predicted the end of the world. The Mayans, they could see what was coming, man. Like, yeah, except for the Spanish. <laughs> Missed the fuck out of the Spanish, didn't they? You're gonna trust a culture who's so tits deep in its calendar, they can't look up and be like, oh shit, the Spanish, we should hide. <laughs> It's good to have legal weed during this pandemic, right? I gotta say though, illegal weed would have worked just as well. That was my main thing. Like I get why we needed to legalize weed. Nobody should have to go to jail or get charged for having weed. But at the same time, I loved how it was like Trudeau's thing that he ran on, like I'm gonna legalize weed. Like thank you, federal government, for legalizing the elusive marijuana. Couldn't find it anywhere before you got on the case. <laughs> like, you didn't do much, man. <laughs> and what I also loved about it was they legalized weed and they rolled it out so badly. He had years to plan it, and then they just didn't put it in stores and shit right away. Right? Like, here, you guys got in some liquor stores. Where I'm in Toronto was nowhere. You couldn't buy it in a store. You had to order it online. And then because of that, because it wasn't in stores, the government lost money selling weed. How incompetent do you have to be to lose money selling drugs? Do you have to like dig up my dealer from high school? Like, how'd you do it, Kevin? You got a PlayStation.
But it wasn't in store, so you had to order it online from the government. That's great, right? Let's combine the reliability of the federal government with the speediness of the post office. So if you want to get high, you really got to plan that shit out now. And you're like, well, I might want to get high in four to six weeks, so I'll start that process now. I won't put the pizza bagels in the oven yet because they'll be overcooked for sure. <laughs>